good evening. If you are new to the Miss Universe pageant, let me show you how it works. First of all, we start with 65 beautiful girls. First, the judges choose 15, and then five, and from that five, the one. And the big question is, which one will it be? They're all so lovely. And if you'd like to see how good a judge of beauty you are, start now by jotting down the names of the 15 girls you like best in the International Parade. When we hear the judges' selections, then I'll put them right here on the board so that you can compare their choices and yours. Now, here's a good safe hint for you. Put down the names of the girls that you remember particularly as having a graceful walk and, and carriage, a warm smile and a general poise. The judges are looking for those qualities. Picking the winners really isn't as easy as it looks, though. I have to confess that last year, after studying them for a week, I picked only nine. <laughs> but I guess that's about average. Eleven is good, and anywhere from 13 on up is excellent. So right now, it's good luck to the contestants, and uh, good luck to you and me. You know, some children don't think that toothbrushing is important. But mothers who use Gleam know differently. Watch. All right, the judges have just handed me the card with the names of the 15 semi-finalists, five of whom will go on to become finalists. Now, the judging began early this week here in Miami Beach with meetings and interviews, and it continued right up to the last look the judges had at our beauty delega delegates just a few moments ago. Now, neither I nor the girls know the names on this card. We have 15 of them. I'll present them to you in two groups. They're not in alphabetical order. Good luck to you, girls. Good luck to all of you. The first name on the list is Miss Venezuela. <laughs> Number two is Miss USA. <laughs> to join our first two, number three is Miss Greece. <laughs> Our next semi-finalist is Miss Yugoslavia. Next, Miss Chile. Number six is Miss Israel. Number seven, Miss Canada. Congratulations, girl. Venezuela here is Peggy Kopp. She's from Caracas and she plans to study law. And Peggy Kopp is a rather unusual name for a girl from Venezuela. Well, they like the name, the American name Peggy. That's why I have Peggy. And Kopp, it comes from Europe. Europe. Uh huh. And are there other members of your family? Excuse me? Uh, do you have brothers and sisters? Uh, yes, I have one brother and one sister. Uh -huh. I am the youngest. Well, the youngest is a mighty beautiful member of the cop family. Oh, Miss Venezuela, you. will you please step right out here? <laughs> and here we have Didi Ann Steph, whom I interviewed right here on this stage only a few months ago. And Didi, what has happened to you since you became Miss USA? What have you been doing? I've been to Rio, Seattle, Atlanta, New Mexico, Juarez. I've been all over. Have you had time to go home? for a week and a half, but I was busier there than I have been any place else. Were they excited about you in your hometown? Yes, and I was excited to see them again. <laughs> I'll bet you were, and I'll bet you're excited right now. Take your place out there, Miss USA.
Now, Miss Grease is Miranda Zafiropoulou. Mm, yes. Zafiropoulou, mm, from Athens, yes. and your first trip to the United States. Yes. And how do you like American food? Oh, I like very much. It's very delicious. What is something that you particularly enjoy? Um, beef with sauce with mushrooms. <laughs> beef with mushrooms. You have such a nice voice. Let me hear you say, uh, Bob, I want you to come over to my house for beef with mushrooms. Uh, in candlelight, in romantic voice. Let romantic? Me yes. In Greek. Yes. Bob. All right? Yes. Yeah. I want you to have a house for a gift with a drink and a drink. I'll be there. I'll be there. I don't even like mushrooms. The Yugoslavia here is Daliborka. Stoichi from Belgrade. She's a student, and uh, she arrived here. Only her chaperone speaks Yugoslavian, but she's done a fine job. She's uh, learned all the things the girls had to learn to do the television show. You speak no English, do you? I speak English. You speak English? Of course. Well, <laughs> speak English. Say something. Listen to me. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm very happy to represent my country. I live in Belgrade, and et etc. Et that child has learned English right here in Miami Beach. There you go. Now, Miss Chile here is Danai Sala, and she's in Santiago, and she speaks no English, but I've been studying Spanish, and we've been talking. We'll try to do an interview here now that you'll understand. Mi nombre es Bob Barker. He is dead. Mi nombre es Danae Sala. Y mi casa es en, está en Los Ángeles. ¿Y usted? En Santiago de Chile. Y usted es muy bonita. Muchísimas gracias. Usted es muy amable. Oh, thank you. There you go, Miss Chile. All right, now. Miss Israel is Miriam Fritman. She's from Tel Aviv. And how do you like Miami Beach? I, I like Miami Beach uh, very much because it seems like my country, everything is green. <laughs> Many Jewish. And the uh, people are very kind to me. I'm not going to press my luck. You're a hit in Miami Beach. Thank you, Mrs. Israel. <laughs> this is Nancy Wilson here from Canada. Nancy's from a large family. How many are there in your family, Nancy? This Five children. Uh -huh. What are some of the advantages and disadvantages of large families? Oh, I think there's more advantages, really. You learn to get along with people. There's disadvantages, What's too. What's the disadvantage? Well, you can't always have what you want when, you're, when there's five of you. <laughs> well, that's not just a large family. I only have my wife, and I don't even always get what I want either, Miss Canada. Thank you very much. There they are, our first seven semi-finalists, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> There they are, the first group of seven. I had a hunch that uh, Miss Venezuela and uh, Miss USA would be among them. And of course, I, I really think they're outstanding beauties, and Miss Grease is, was a cinch in my opinion. I have five so far. That's uh, not bad, really, but if you're at all like I am, you probably favor a girl because you like her home country or because she, she looks like someone you know, or you like her name. But those judges have to be much more objective. In the meetings that take place during the week, the girls are interviewed and all personally by all the judges. And I'd say that poise and personality are just as important as a pretty face. So keep that in mind when we get down to picking the five finalists. <laughs> now, um, you want your kitchen floor to win a beauty contest? Here's a word from new heavy-duty top job. <laughs> 